scientist. He gave me the. He said, if you block any balls, I'm coming for you. So it was the captain's uh, uh, talk. He said, just go out, play a game, and uh, and it worked for today. <laughs> I mean, that's good. Um, good luck for the rest of the tournament. You batted well, and mashallah, your team have done very well. So I'm sure you guys are going to be pumped. You've got uh, big games next week, and I'm sure the bowling performance of you guys, your net run rate is going to be sky high right now. So you guys must have a lot of confidence. Uh, good luck for next week. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Guys, Mike, commentary. Hello, Marcus. Mike, this is the mic. Are you yours? Keep it. Do it from here. Do it from Very well bowled there. So welcome to the second game of tonight where we have Hansworth Strikers versus Lane Top Lions and it's uh, on the pads and now uh, my fellow commentator Azahed has joined me. Azahed, how do you see this one going down? Oh, this is going to be an interesting game. There's two uh, relatively new teams, uh, Hussein Pueng for the first time uh, captaining a side in our indoor league. And uh, the, you know, the previous comers, they didn't play last year, uh, but the Royal Strikers uh, back in action. Uh, so it is going to be a good one. I think uh, both teams are going to be slightly rusty, uh, just because it's a new venue, new surface, it's going to take a while to get into, uh, but definitely going to be a fantastic encounter. Both teams are very strong. I mean, in Komsad Bashir, I've been told he's a very, very good bowler. I mean, I've heard high praise from him. This is the first time I've seen him playing, but he seems to be zipping it through. You know what? The transfer market was at a deadline, you know. I've spoken to uh, the finance department of uh, Hussein's team, and they told me that literally within the last few minutes did they make the signing of Saad Bashir. And they had to try make his travel arrangements all the way from London to come and play. Just shows you how valuable of a player he is. Mm, very good. Good, very good. In comes Hasnain. Oh, good start there, good start. I mean, out there playing the first game in the last week, how are you finding the pitch? I'm finding a bit too paced out there. Some zip through and some just stop. What it's, do you think? I think uh, it's more to do with the type of baller you got on uh, in this league. Uh, oh, that's an edge, that's an edge. He's gone, he's gone. So another early wicket falls for the Royal Strikers. Yeah, coming back to your point, Adil, I think it's depending on the ballers. In the league, there's very various ballers who ball quicker, some ball slower. I think every baller you're going to play slightly differently. For the bowlers who are bowling a bit slower, a movement in the air, you're going to have to wait for a bit. But the ones who have pace, you're going to have to be ready as you do uh, probably outdoor because it's going to skid on. So it is a new surface. It is going to take time to get used to. But, uh, you know, we've got fantastic players playing in this league. I'm sure everyone has the ability to adapt. So, that's a good point there, as I heard. Uh, Hansworth Strikers, two for one off 1 1.3. Um, Anwar is in. Very good play, Izamwa. Oh, nearly hit the commentator's curse there. So it's a good start from Lane Top Lions. They did win their warm up game from last week against the Fairville Falcons. In he comes. It's a nice shot. They're going for a run here to the arm of. Oh, that would have been gone, I think, if that hit there. In comes Hasnain again. Oh, he's zipping that one through there, is Hasnain. Really good bowling from him. Two overs gone. Five for one. Off two. It's a slow, steady start here from the Hansworth Strikers. Um, I believe these are the two main batters for the Hansworth Strikers out here. Anwar, a very, very reliable batsman he has been so far. As he faced up to Saad. He has, they're running for it. Oh, they were sleeping there. Absolute sleeping there. That should have been a pure run up. You know what it is? It comes back to basic cricket when you're playing indoor. You've got to be ready for every ball that comes to you. Be on your toes for every ball because you never know where it's going to go. You've got to remember with the Hussein's team, it's a new team. To be honest with you, a lot of their players aren't new players. They are experienced campaigners, but there are a few new faces. So it's up to the captain to obviously keep reminding them to be on their feet at all times because the ball can come at you from any direction. It comes south again. Oh, they've gone for all. Oh, they haven't. They haven't. I mean, I was just saying earlier, Zahid, that these two are probably the main key batters for the Hansworth team. 
Um, you do have Astros in the back end, but they rely heavily on these two players. Definitely, definitely. They, like I, you know, like I mentioned before, they're experienced campaigners. They know what to do, especially if the car he plays in uh, the various leagues that be running around uh, during the winter season. So uh, he understands his game very well. Same with Anwar and uh, with obviously Afros to come in as well. Uh, you know, uh, you know, they've got a good side. They've got a good side. It's just a matter of uh, clicking and uh, making, getting the wins on the board. Iftikar, one of the rare batters in here who wears gloves. Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's an unusual one, isn't it? Mm. I mean, maybe it's probably more just for, you know, grip and everything. It can get sweaty out there, especially when you're constantly running. Um, it can obviously, you know, you get sweaty hands, you don't want to lose grip of the ball. So, uh, you know, I don't uh, mind it. Um, I think... Uh, it just shows uh, how important batting is to him, that he wants to make sure that he does well. Very good start here from Saad Bashir. Two overs, one maiden, six runs. That's amazing in Indo. Fantastic, fantastic. It's not easy to get maidens in Indo. No, no, uh, no. Can I just put in there, please? When you said it's not easy to get maidens in Indo, our captain here, Mr. Azahat Salim, got a beautiful maiden against the captain the opposition team Adil Hassan from Freshville well he didn't get it against me get it against your my team, player yeah, your team <laughs> yeah, it's my player your team is your player is it's, you. a, it's a very long tournament I may add Shah Rukh, and you did lose the last game you win some you lose some you um, know I wasn't talking about winning or losing I was talking you about were. maidens well maidens. we'll see we'll see we'll see him back to the game I'm afraid had enough of you <laughs> oh, oh yes, is he out Oh, oh, is he out? He didn't slide his bat in there, did Anwar. But nevertheless, that's another three. Mad is taking selfies. What's that? 14 for one. Oh, hands with strikers. Oh, it's in the slot and it's been punished for four. If the car finally gets one off the bat, will that break the shackles? Haley's on the way. Haley's on the way. Haley's coming. Astrid Shah comes in. If the car again. They've gone for it and they've made it. That bounce. Be careful for the bounce there. And this, this is just showing uh, how new this team is to indoor. They're just having a bit of trouble just trying to uh, figure out what to do, what the plans are. Uh, you know, there's some sloppy fielding out there, which is, you know, vital when it comes to indoor. Vital. Uh, special mention to Harun Tariq out there, lightning fielder, amazing batter, and I believe he smashed Shah Rukh for a beautiful six last week, Ooh. which we all enjoyed. Ooh. Harun Tariq. Warm up matches. Come on, man, you don't talk about friendly games. Can you talk about this game? A game is a game. <laughs> <laughs> 23 for one, all oh, the hands with strikers. Anwar, six of six. Definitely pick out some rivalries for the future games here, don't we, Adil? Mm. A classic Shah Rukh versus Ardil. That would be, be an all interesting love. competition. It's oh, all definitely, love. definitely, definitely. That baller wouldn't show you love even for his head. <laughs> How did you do? Set it for him. That's it. That's exactly the kind of innings I needed to play. And he comes with a beautiful pink shirt. I really like this shirt. What a shot! And six! Six runs off the bat. I mean, you don't want to ball in Iftikhar slot. He, uh, he's dangerous. I mean, I balled to him last week and he panned me as well. He's one man. You do not ball into the slot too. But again, this bowler has a really nice shirt, I must say. And he comes again. Oh, he stops there, takes a pause. And he comes. Straight up in the air. Really good running here. Really good. Really good run in there. Mohammed Bukhari is the bowler, seam bowler. Pulls out again. Oh, Iftikhar has retired. Very well battered. Very, very well battered. Having him in the tank is going to be a luxury towards when it comes towards the back end. And he comes again, the bowler. Short ball, being given a wide. Unlucky there. Um, I must introduce the new umpires. Well, a new umpire on debut today is Ali Shah with the walkie talkie in his mouth. Seems to be enjoying it. And the leg side umpire is Mother Sharif. Short ball to uh, Anwar. And that's another two added to the score. Just 
Oh no, he's gone straight past him for four. Sloppy there from Hosnain. But again, as we discussed earlier, it's just to get used to this indoor pitch. I mean, sometimes the balls pop, stop, and you just don't know what's going on half the time. But we'll get used to it as they go on. Lane top, very strong batting unit. There you are. Season campaign is Harun Tariq with his jeggings on today and shorts all blacked out. Just come from the gym probably as Harun Tariq. Slower ball. Oh, and that's another three runs there. Another three. Five overs, 43 for one. A little discussion going on here. I believe the power play has been taken. Arman, stop playing. Stop playing down there. Stop playing down there. Oi, you plan for this? Power play has you been taken. For? Yeah, over. Yeah, my signing there, my signing. Hasnain has come back hey. into the attack. Zain Kanzanfa. My signing, yeah, new signing. New signing, new signing. Um, Zaz, can you take us through the rules here? I believe. Oh, Baldem! Yorker! What a delivery! Out of nowhere! Woohoo! Just uh, interrupted there. There's nothing you can do about that. Leg stump, Yorker. Definitely not. I saw fire coming out of the ball the moment it left so the hand. So what I was saying earlier Ooh. was the rules now, I believe, have been you have to complete your overs within 30 minutes. Yeah. But what it, happens after the 30 minutes? So uh, it's been obviously it was in the meeting that we had uh, a few days ago prior to the games today. Uh, we've obviously discussed because of uh, timing issues that if uh, you do not your allocated overs within 30 minutes for every minute that's played after that your overs are gonna get uh, sorry uh, no no your overs won't get that that, that that was the previous one we got rid of that um, for any overs that are played after 30 uh, minutes they will be um, they will played with one less per fielder oh, okay. yeah so one fielder will be sitting down if your 30 minutes are up and you still have overs to play so your overs will be played but you will be playing with one, one less per one, one less fielder okay. In comes Hasnain. No ball, it's a free hit. They've come for a single. Other end. That's two runs there and a free hit. As Afzal got a free hit, what's he going to do with it here? Coming back to that rule, as I heard, that could be very crucial when it comes down to the crunch games. Definitely, definitely. But this is it. This is what uh, the league's about. It's about managing your ballers and you know getting everyone ready. In indoor, you can't be. You know, it's not like outdoor where it's gonna be. You know, you'll have time to do what you want and you've got seven hours to play. It's because of the limited time that we have available in this venue. Um, we need to utilize every minute. So that's the reason why we've got this enforced. Um, it's just to get everyone ready because we know we've seen it before that they can everyone can get their team ready within and get all oh, the first innings done within a half an hour slot uh, and we just don't want any you know I, I mean of course you can have the discussions in between but keep them very brief don't everyone just start gathering um, leave, leave it between the captain and the baller have your inputs uh, during the over but try to keep it as swift as possible so we can keep it running uh, smoothly mm. So those are the new rules introduced to the BBICL. One less fielder if you do not complete within 30 minutes for all the views out there. And you see, this is what you were talking about, these meetings going on. Every second is exactly. valuable here. And, and, this, and, this is the, and this is the slight issue that we have, that everyone starts gathering. When everyone starts gathering in a huddle like that, it just means that it takes more time for people to disperse back into their original places. Leave it with the captain. He's the captain for the reason. Have your inputs to him. Uh, oh, oh, he's oh. dropped it! He's dropped a sitter, Uncle, Uncle T. T. Uncle T has dropped, dropped a sitter. sitter. Very, very unlike Uncle T. Ooh, He'll be very disappointed with yeah. that. He's not, he's not one to drop them. Then again, I don't think anyone should be dropping sitters like that. Um, I'm not sure. He was just probably overthink, uh, overthinking it. It's another two added to the toll. Uh, oh. Oi, 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 oi. Well backed up there in the end. 
Wicket keeper's a bit loose. In comes Astrid Shah to Afroz. Short ball. It's another two added to the total. I mean, there's a lot of talk about the three three runs being included. What's your thoughts on it, Zaha? Look, this was another thing that was obviously mentioned uh, after the warm-ups last week. And, you know, end of the day, we don't want to disappoint our players and we want them to come and enjoy the games. Uh, but at the same time, we have to balance everything and we have to make sure that the league itself is a entertain uh, entertaining league. Uh, we're seeing uh, a variety of different shots being played every week. And that's the reason why we've gone with the rules that we have. If you think about it, Adil, and this is you know just a quick uh, explanation, if you have two runs for hitting the wall on the full, what that's encouraging is people to play uh, to play a lot more different kind of strokes. For example, a backward slash with power, uh, you know, scoops, sweeps, different kind of shots which are going to be entertaining. If you have it that it's you know just one for hitting the sides and two for running all you're gonna see is just constant dabs into the gaps and just running in between the wicket which is fair but you also want a bit of entertainment as well which is the reason why uh, we've kept with the rules that we have and you know as a player you know you have to have that ability to adapt to different conditions look at the international players every continent they play in whether australia england india it's all different so you have to adapt to where you're playing so that's, you know, that, that's another thing that we, you know, we thought long and hard about it and uh, we decided this is the best way to go about it. Anyways, let's get back to the game, Uncle T into the attack. 58 for two of the hundred strikers of seven. So wide ball to start off with. Uncle T can be a very nippy bowler because he doesn't have a lot of pace, but he gets a lot of movement in the air and he's got the cutters that turn, go in and out as well. He's a very so, experienced campaigner. Yeah, very experienced campaigner. <laughs> Oh, did not go for a run there. <clears throat> not sure what they're doing out there. They're just playing clown cricket at the moment. Uh, need to be more uh, precise with what they're doing. He would have been well out if that was a direct hit. Good he comes in again. Oh, shot. Six runs. Six runs. This is the other downfall of uh, Uncle T. If he just marginally puts it in the wrong place because of how slow it is, the batsmen are able just to sit back and just uh, hit it over the head. So we'll see how Afzal goes with this. 66 for two. Short one again, and that's just stopped in the pitch there. I mean, that's what I was talking about there, Zahid. If you saw the first one, it came through a bit quicker. Yeah. And that one just completely stopped. Exactly, exactly. And it's, just, and it's another case of, you know, he loops it above the batsman island, so instantly they think, you know what, uh, let's go for this. Oh, another drop chance. Another, that's two for Uncle T. Not the night he wants to be having two drop chances. Um, but yeah, so I think batsmen just want to attack Uncle T because of his slow nature bowling. But that can also be a downfall. Yeah. Not in that beautiful case, though, that's a beautiful yeah. shot by Afzal. Takes the score to 77 for two. I mean, <coughs> those two drop catches have been shown to be very costly so far. Just goes back to basic cricket, doesn't it? Catches when you matches. I and think this uh, is a better angle for Uncle I T. think so as well. I think uh, with this one, he'll be able to... Oh, yeah, look at that. I think with this angle, he'll, he'll be able to take it away from the right-hander and then he can have the one that nips back in as well. So uh, it's a better angle for Uncle T, in my opinion. So the 74 for 2 off 8, what are you thinking as a captain here, Zaha? How much should we want? 74 after 2 for 8. I think uh, it depends. Have we got any retired batsmen out there? Yeah, we have one. We have one. So at this stage, I reckon I say to the boys, look, we've got a retired batsman. We've got wickets in hand. Ruin everything. Ruin everything. You've got to remember, in indoor, no matter how stupid the run is, if it's a run like that, you take it, you take it. Oh, and then oh. that, ooh, and that, almost that happens as well when they overthrow it as well. So no matter how stupid the run can be, if it's there, you just take it. Have that instinct, trust your partner, take the run. You will do very well in leagues like this. Oh, slightly short. It's a dot ball. Every dot ball here is valuable. Um, let me ask like you, gold dust. Let me ask you a question, Adil. I mean, yes. we have some really competitive teams in this league. Uh, you know, some outstanding. Oh, oh look at that! He's bowled him. Bowled him. Fantastic delivery. Really good. I mean, every time it comes to a question, as I heard, there seems yeah. to be a wicket volley. Seems to be a wicket every single time. 
Majid Hussain, uh, the specialist number 11 batsman, mm. coming in for the Royal he Strikers. He can spank a few, can Majid. He can spank a few as well. I mean, I believe Majid's a very underrated bowler. He just nip it about. Definitely, definitely. He's always been. Ever since his debut in YMA, when he took a fantastic five wickets for four runs, he's just been, I uh, think, outstanding. So he is a very underrated player. And that's a three. Cheeky. Very good. You know, in, in indoor, it doesn't matter how you get the runs, as long as you get the runs. It doesn't matter if it's an edge, it, it, it goes on the scoreboard, yeah. you know what I mean? So, you know, that there's just as uh, you know safe as playing a nice dab into the corner. It's just the point of getting the runs. Get the runs. A dot ball there. Um, but yeah, going back to one question for you, I was saying that we have some fantastic players in this league. Who do you think has the strongest team indoor while I'm not regarding superstars because everyone's a superstar in their own league. Oh, he's got him. Well done there. He's got well him. Good. The best team all round team, huh? Because everyone's a superstar. Everyone's got the ability to win in this league. There's not a team in this league that you think, you know what? They're a very weak team. Yeah. Every team has the ability to win on the day. So I ask you this question. Who do you think on paper, or not even on paper, on the pitch, is uh, you know going to prove to be the toughest team to be in indoor? I think with the bowling squad, um, the Pittsmore Avengers have. They're up there. They're right up there. I mean, they've won it before former external players and now they've just added to their tally however i will say bain grieve are very very underrated they've played so much indoor together and they run so well so in my eyes if i had to pick a final four right now i'm gonna go with pitsmore firth park bain grieve and fervale Top four, that's just based on the first warm-up performances and first week performances. Yeah, yeah. Things can change, I mean, players sometimes aren't available, but that's my top four team for right no, now. No, definitely, I agree with you. I think, um, obviously, one game's just gone in, they were just into the second game now. Um, but uh, it is going to be fascinating to see um, who goes through. And, you know, you know, don't, don't stake your money on anything, because any team has the ability to make it through to the finals. Yes, 100%, 100%. And let's not forget, the thing is with this new ball, if you hit it for a six and manage to get it through that gap, the team is without the new ball. Let's not forget that. That's true as well, that's true. They'll be out without, without a new ball, so it's going to be, oh, that's a retirement. Another retirement and Another back retirement. in comes Iftikhar. And uh, this is going to suit Iftikhar. I mean, he's going to go gun blazing with ah, this 100%. now. And I don't, I don't blame him. I think this is the time to go gun blazing. Uh, you've got another batsman in the shed ready to come back in. So this is the time that you just uh, smash it. This um, under 15 player, I believe. Junior player, Shahid, mm. playing for the Royal Strikers. I've not seen much of him, uh, but just from that one shot, it uh, looks like he can't hold the bat. Oh, no, that's no. a commentator's curse. Commentator's there. curse. Right commentator's there. curse. Worst. Uh, sorry, Shahid, I was uh, complimenting you. Maybe I shouldn't have. Well, Never mind. Uh, but you know, it's not that bad for Royal Strikers. It brings back the two batsmen who have retired. Mm. Uh, so this is going to be interesting. Now, the situation here is a bit different because I believe these are the last two batsmen standing. Yeah. So it's a case of go gun blazing, but you can't afford to lose both of them early on as well because there's still overs to be played. Believe me, I know these two fellows very well and they're not going to be holding. Like, <laughs> there you are. <laughs> they're going to throw his kitchen sink at this. <laughs> they do not care. They're very fearless players, are Abzal and Niftika. Love playing their big shots. And this is what we like to see. This is what we want to encourage. Uh, this is the type of stroke player that, uh, you know, we, uh, we would like to capture the moments that we're we'll going to TikTok. There. Very well kept there from Danny Latif. It'll be a fascinating chase though, because uh, the Lane Top Lions, they uh, do have a good bowling attack. <laughs> Another wide ball there, no run there. Um, so the lane top Lions do actually possess a much stronger batting team than they are a bowling team. Definitely, I mean... Uh, Shot in the slot! Abzal smokes that one! Gone miles, gone absolutely miles. Um, yeah, Lane Top Lions, they, uh, as you saw from the performance last week, uh, comfortably chasing down uh, a 70-80 target. You know, my team, Fervale Falcons. So 
their batting lineup does definitely suit, um, but it's just a case of, uh, you know, uh, can their batsmen click? Because if you look at their squad, the main two batsmen that they have is their keeper Daniel Latif and Haroon Tariq. Haroon is in fantastic form. Uh, we are teammates in a, a different league that's played on a Sunday and uh, he's in some fantastic form at the moment so I'm really looking forward to seeing him back. 91 for 5 out of 10, I mean the hands of the striker should be looking for a score of 120 excess. We are, they've gone for it here. Very, very, oh, I was going to say very, very good gone. running. But he's, he's out. Gone. What a throw that was, what a throw. Turn and throw, bang, gone. Very, very good feeling there in the end. And this is and this is what I'm talking about. It's Afzil that's left now. How does he go? I mean, we've already discussed it. He's going to go gun blazing anyways. Um, but obviously, it's important to also uh, play the overs out as well, I mean, get as I high of a score as you with can. With one wicket left, uh, Hansworth need to get to 100. Just that psychological 100. Yes, for definitely, now. definitely. I mean, they did make 106 last week, but they got chased down in nine overs. Mm. So, they'll be looking for more than that today. Bit of technical issues by uh, Ali Shah, a new standing umpire, so yeah. uh, we won't give him too much slack. Uh, still learning on the yeah. job. Not for today. Um, but, uh, so, let's, uh, well, while they're sorting that out, we'll just rewind history. Uh, you know, what do you think of uh, the new venue itself compared to Park Academy? Which one did you prefer? Did you prefer Park Academy or do you prefer EIS? Uh, I think we're just doing solid in EIS for now. I think both venues have their pluses and pros. EIS very close to me. But um, talking about the pitch itself, so far I'm finding this pitch very two-paced. Mm. With Park Academy, everything came onto the bat. Yeah. This has a bit more for the bowlers. Just mm. a bit, not mm. a lot. Just a bit. In comes name again. It's a no ball, it's a free hit. You don't want to be bowling that at this stage. But. The good thing about EIS is a lot more spacious for the singles. Definitely, definitely. It's a bigger venue as well. I think there's a lot more mm. space for gaps. Um, but, In comes uh, Asnain again. They've gone for it. You know, uh, credit credit to the guys. Uh, you know, they worked really yeah. hard to secure a place like yeah. this as well. It wasn't easy. There were a lot of forms. There were a lot of stuff that you had to agree to, a lot of disclosures. Um, and uh, you know it took a lot of work especially from Hamza so a lot yeah. of credit goes to him a big thank you for continuously it's edge, running but the I don't league. think that's carried uh, yeah uh, yeah we have to commend Hamza's efforts and everybody else who was involved behind the scenes um, these kinds of things aren't built on their own it takes a lot of hard time and effort and sweat Yes. So we must thank no, the people no, all involved. We always, um, you know, look from where we began. It's a mix-up here. Oh, what's happened there? I think that was out, Zahid. I think it was out. I think it was a direct hit. I think the batsman was just asking if, uh, you know, the fielders uh, touched the stumps before the ball hit it, uh, dislodging the the bales, the imaginary bales that we have. Um, but uh, I think that's what he was asking. But I think regardless, the umpire has given it out. That's the end of the innings. Uh, they've ended up just short of 195, I believe. We're just going to have a live update. Yeah, 95. 95. They need 96 to win.